Hello again, people of the internet. Daniel the ADD Gamer here with another episode of What the Hell Did I Buy on Steam? Today's episode, we are going to be playing a game called Cube. Q U B E. We're going to be playing the Director's Cut version. Um, looks to be a first person puzzler where you have to manipulate the uh, your surroundings. Um, with some sort of powers, I don't really know. <laughs> so let's uh, let's uh, why don't we just jump right into it? All right, we're gonna. Uh, I've already gone through and kind of made sure that I had a setting so I wanted them. So let's jump right into a new game. Is there any sound? I bet I've got this turned down way too low. With all due respect, There's my sound. Your best guess is still just a guess. Kind of missing some. have faith in the possibility of good. Wait, hold on. His oxygen consumption's going up. I think he's alive. Yep, I'm alive. He's conscious. Totally, totally alive, okay. totally conscious. Go steady down there. You've been out for a couple weeks. Fifteen days, in fact. Thought you were dead. Nope. If it wasn't for your life suit, Not dead. Listen, there's been a complication. Uh oh. You can't link it to your POV camera, and it looks like communications are only working one way. You can hear me, I hope, but I can't hear you. That means yep. we don't know how badly you were affected by the transportation. Okay. If you're feeling confused or disoriented, totally. you should know that deep space travel can do you pretty serious psychological damage. Especially to your memory. Even a few hours out there in the dark can cause permanent problems. I'm gonna be honest with you. Mission controller concerned, you might have no idea who you are. I don't. Why you're in there. I have no idea. That's true. I have some difficult facts for you. Oh no. Should I keep? You're a long way from Earth. A very long way. But every single person on the planet is depending on you. That thing you're inside right now, whatever it is, it's been on me. It's gonna hit Earth in the next few hours. Ooh. And if it does, that's the end of everything. Well, you that's not good. and dismantle it from the inside before that happens. I just hope you haven't forgotten how. Yeah. <laughs> we all do. I never knew how. Now listen carefully. This is important. Okay. The reason why it's me talking to you and not Mission Control. Uh huh. Because you're too far out into deep space. Okay. Your signal can't reach you out there, but mine can. Where are you? I'm Commander Novak. I'm an astronaut on board the International Space Station. Okay. I'm going to relay everything they tell me, but the bad news is, uh -huh. every time I orbit around the far side of the Earth, I'll move out of radio range. Uh-oh. When that happens, you're going to be on your own for a while. Just stay calm and keep your head straight until I get back into range. Okay. Uh-oh. Okay, this She's is going, it. She's going out of range. Out of range now. Crap. I'll be back soon. Okay. Just remember what I've told you. Sure. And believe it. Not the bio. Uh oh. Oh shoot. It's a lift. Which way is gonna open up? Which way? Which way? Which way? Which way? Which way? I don't. Oh. Okay. It's all around. I'm descending into an open room. Uh oh. Okay. It's not creepy at all that I'm going into this weird uh, space station thing that just opens up whenever I get near places, right? I mean, uh, it's totally not going to close up and, like, kill me in a second. Totally not going to do that. It's, it's just, uh... It's, it's just doing everything I need it to do to get me to where I need to go, right? I mean, that's... There, uh... There's nothing weird about that. Nothing weird about that at all. At least this game is, uh... Easy to render. It's just a whole bunch of blocks. Oh, okay. My whole thing is moving that way. Nice. 
Uh, okay. Oh, it's, of course it of course it's closing behind me. Now, are we gonna go up or down? Or is this a wall gonna open? Oh, wall opens. Okay. So far I'm being very passive. Alright, what do we have here? This looks kinda like a puzzle. Or not. Ooh, woo! I made it glow. Yellow glow when I right click. Blue glow when I left click. Alright, well, whatever that means. Ooh, a red thing. Oh, I can jump. Sweet. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Haha, <laughs> I can elevate myself. Okay. I almost walked back off because I got turned around. Make some steps, Daniel. Make some steps. Haha. <laughs> Take that. I beat. Uh oh, it's blue. Oh, look, my, my gloves change color when I point at different things. Okay. Whoa! Was not expecting that. <laughs> Jump pads. I'm sure I'm gonna need to go boing. <laughs> oh yeah. Ooh, blue, yellow ones. What do they do? <gasps> oh. Okay, well that's random. the big one to be at the top. Oh, I guess I have to touch the, the top one? Yes! The hands, they're just kind of... They look really awkward. Because he's just walking around like... Hello. Let me manipulate your blocks. Hello. Like what? What the? What, what's that all about? Ooh. I unlocked an achievement, but you can't see that because it's not showing my overlays. Okay. That's obviously not right. There we go. I got it. First try. First try. Ah, oh, shoot. You didn't see that. There we go. See? I did it just right the first time. 
Uh oh. Hey, I want to go back that way. Uh, um. Uh oh. Um. Okay. We can do this. Nope. Yes. Now, can we make that jump? Can we make that jump? <gasps> oh, whew. oh, yeah, we made it. Okay, looks like I finished this section of the cube. Sector 1 complete. Where's voiceover lady? I imagine... Ooh, green. I wonder what greens do. Okay, maybe I can't do anything to greens. What? No, I can't do it. I can't manipulate greens. Oh, I see. Okay. So. Looks like. You can't move greens. Unless you move them with. Uh, with other blocks. Okay. Okay. All right. So, so they make an extra step so that we can get up high enough. To get in there. Oh, yeah. <sighs> now. Let's... Oh yes, I am amazing. I am amazing. <sighs> okay. So I see what I need to do, kind of. I just don't see a way to easily do that. Wait, it's gonna have to be, okay. Gonna have to that one's gonna have to go up to be on that side so how am i gonna get up there though oh wait i know okay like that and then we're gonna push it to there okay all right got it let's get up there now 
Take that back down. I'll take that one up. Whoa. And there we go. There we go. There we go. Oh. I really don't like the way these walls open up. And they don't open up all the way. I mean, at least. Oh. Name is 919. What? What? That's not the woman. That's not the same person. Who's, who's, who is that? What does that do? Whoa. I think I did it. I think I did it. Oh yeah. Is that Sector 2 complete? Sector 2 complete. Ah, yes. I'm assuming there are nine sectors since this is a cube. And um, six, you know, the amount that it shows there on the wall, six spaces would not be enough to fill out a cube. So, I think I'm gonna end this here because if I keep playing this, you know, this video is gonna be like uh, 30 minutes long. So, but here in uh, 17, I have completed two sectors. So, let's go ahead and close out of this. That was Cube, Director's Cut. Sectors one and two, at least, of it. Um, what did you think of it? I kind of enjoyed it. It was uh, Portal-esque in its, you know, first-person platform puzzler kind of gameplay. It was a little bit different because you have to uh, figure out what the uh, different the different colors mean as far as your um, what your gloves can do to manipulate them. But I think that's going to probably be the only kind of ones you have to worry about with because it seems that I've done the whole tutorial part where they show you what each of the four colors do you know you got your the yellow which moves depending on which one you click on and then you got the red where you can extend it as much as you need the blue that makes you jump and the green that you can't directly manipulate but you have to um, reset or make go with the other with the thing button on the wall. I'm sure there will be other aspects to those that arise later in the game. Uh, I am excited to finish this game and see what the rest of the story holds because, you know, I've got to save the world, but not right now. <laughs> I'm not going to do a full playthrough in one episode because that would uh, be a really long episode, I think. Because while I have made it through the first two relatively quickly, I think the further sectors excuse me will probably get more complicated and longer well i will be finishing up this game soon but not right now um let me know down in the comments what you thought about this game C cube director's cut i enjoyed it and i look forward to finishing the rest well i'm going to wrap the episode here and get ready to see what we find on the next episode all right. Well, until next time, this has been Daniel the ADD Gamer with What the Hell Did I Buy on Steam? Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Oh, no, I'm trapped in there. Goodbye.